My best friend and I embarked on a journey to the south of France. We were landing in Nice, which was a 20 hour flight from Australia. And I wanted to show you everything we did when we were in Nice and exploring the south of France. I'm excited to take you along with me. We landed in the afternoon and we were suffering from really bad jet lag. So the first thing we did was find pasta. <laughs> this was such a good first meal in France. The truffle pasta there was delicious. And that was pretty much it. We literally went to bed at 9 p.m. And that was actually us trying to stay awake for as long as we could. 9 p.m. was pretty good, but we wanted to be well rested for the next day. The next morning, we woke up at about 5 a.m. because, again, we were jet lagged. Good morning. <laughs> but it was so nice to wake up and just be in Nice. Today was actually the release of Harry Styles' album, Harry's House, and so of course we were listening to that. We were listening to this the whole trip, but we had to put that on whilst we were getting ready. We then went and found some pastries, the best pain of chocolate of my life. Hello, Hi. we're in Nice. Hi. We're just walking now to Old Town Nice. It's our first full day here. Yes. We came last night, but we were just so jet lagged. Jet lagged. I could not pick up the camera, but today's our first full day, so Yay, we got lots the of most do. delicious pastries. Oh my god, it was insane. We had a very awkward ordering situation, oh, but we're stupid English people. <laughs> but we'll get there. We'll Australian Google. English. But oh my god, first of all, look at this building. It's pink. It's so pretty. Oh, the architecture is so pretty. I love it. Anyway, we're gonna head to Old Town Nice, and we'll see you there. Old Nice was just such a beautiful place to walk around, all the colourful buildings, the architecture was just amazing to look at, the weather was absolutely perfect, it was about a 20 minute walk from our hotel to the beach side, it was just the most beautiful place to walk around, I loved just seeing how beautiful everything was, you'll find in this vlog, the only word I can say is beautiful. I have very limited vocabulary, especially when I am jet lagged, but we actually came across a really cute market when we were searching for breakfast. Oh, it's zoomed, it zoomed in, it zoomed in. God. <laughs> no, we found these markets. They're so cute. The strawberries smell so good. It's so fresh. We've been walking around trying to find a place for breakfast mm -hmm. and we've not had luck yet, but this place looks amazing. Walking around Nice is just like so nice. It's so pretty here. So pretty. It's just hills and... Mm -hmm. The beach, oh my God, okay. that was insane. That was insane. Oh, look at all this fruit. I want the fruit. The paintings. Oh my goodness. So pretty. Strawberry and orange. Nice. <laughs> Delicious. Delicious. You like? Mm. Very good. For me, it's the best. It's so fresh. Yeah. We then headed off because we wanted to explore this small town of Ez. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm so sorry, but it is such a beautiful little town. A 20 minute drive from Nice with amazing medieval architecture and stunning views. Honestly, it's one of my favorite places that we visited. We are in Ez. Ez. East? Ez? I'm not sure. I don't know. But it's so pretty here. So beach. And the beach is actually sand, not like pebbles like in Nice. So pretty. <laughs> Just love the mystery. <gasps> We're walking up these stairs to get to lunch. <laughs> to get to lunch. <laughs> but look how pretty this view is. Oh my goodness, this is insane. We're really working for our lunch. <laughs> We're working hard. How are you liking Ez so far? It's very pretty. So pretty. So it's only like a 20 minute drive from Nice. Nice, yeah. Look how pretty this view is. 
This is honestly one of the most beautiful places in the world, in my opinion. The beautiful small village that dates back to the Middle Ages, the architecture and the history here is, is so amazing to look at. You can look right out to the Mediterranean Sea, it's along the mountainside and just, I've never seen any architecture like this. Honestly, just so beautiful walking up the little village, seeing the little shops that were inside, cafes, taking cute photos of course, and just overall just enjoying the scenery and the view that it was around us bought some cute little rings before heading to lunch with the most amazing view I'll ever see in my life. We found the lunch location. So we ended up at this beautiful rooftop restaurant that literally gives you the view of the whole mountains. You were literally having lunch in the clouds, like we are at eye level in the clouds. The view was absolutely breathtaking. We had cheese, we had drinks. The cloud literally came over to us, like we are inside the cloud right now. It's just, <laughs> it's just white background. Yeah. It's like a backdrop. Yeah, it's like a white background. Can't see anything. That's, That's crazy. Literally, you can barely see the view down there. But, oh, it's passing. It's passing. Bye, Cloud. Bye. Hello. Hi. <laughs> We're here at the Paloma, Paloma Beach. Beach. It's stunning. It's so nice. beautiful. <laughs> stunning. We came here for drinks and relaxation and boy did we get it. This place honestly looks unreal. It did not look real. It was so perfect, so pristine. Like the clouds were just not moving. The water was so still and calming. I literally could have sat here for the rest of my life. <laughs> Most relaxed I've ever been in my life. It's very so comfortable. This view, mm -hmm. this spot, this spot. We like it. It's beautiful. Let's just never leave. We in Monaco. Monte Carlo. Monte, Monte Carlo. I mean, we're also in Monaco. We're in both. <laughs> we're in both. Yeah. At the same time. We are going to Zara. Yes. That's the, if you look Zara. the first stop. I really so want to find yeah. the Hotel de Paris that was in the Monte Carlo movie. Maybe we'll find that at some point, but it's so pretty here. Hee <laughs> Everything's so pretty. Everything's so pretty. Right, we're gonna go buy some clothes. <laughs> we found the hotel. So the pretty. Hotel de Paris where they filmed Monte Carlo. <laughs> so beautiful here in Monte Carlo though. So pretty. <sighs> we did a quick stop to Monte Carlo on the way back to Nice and boy was it just so... Everything was so extravagant and beautiful. There were so many beautiful cars and people in amazing outfits, the architecture, everything was so stunning. I wish we spent longer here. Good morning. It's day two Good morning. in Nice. Saturday. Yesterday was a hectic day. We literally went to, we, we started off in Nice, then we went to Ez, mm -hmm. then we went to Monaco, <laughs> then we went to Saint Jean, Yeah. the Paloma Saint Beach, Jean. back to Nice. It was so, so much. Driving. I've literally never been that tired in my life. And today is going to be even more busy because yeah. it's wedding day. Mm -hmm. If you didn't know, I don't know if I've even said it in this vlog, but we are here for a wedding. Um, and that's today. So we're going to have a very, very chill morning, get some food, and then come back and get ready for the wedding. But I want to show you everything I bought yesterday because... Shopping is fun. So in the morning we went to these markets in Nice and they were so cute and Nikki and I both got these prints of like cats. The artist was so cute there and she just like painted animals. I love it. So this one's mine. The cats are like walking their dog. I love it. And then this one's Nikki's one. Bought two pairs of sunglasses because I did not pack any and these were both cute and they were only 10 euro which was crazy. I bought this olive oil for Seth because he loves fancy olive oil so bought him that and then actually from Ez I bought this ring do you have yours we bought these rings they're, they're so, so pretty fun. went to Zara <laughs> and I just bought just a white crop top and then this pink button-up shirt which I'm probably gonna wear today so you will see this but yes that was all the shopping we did yesterday yes we're gonna get ready this morning we woke up it's currently seven but we were up at like you were up earlier than me Okay, well, I got up at like 6. We really are not adjusting well to this time yet. So hard. And also we're gonna be up till like past midnight tonight probably. So anyway, we will battle through but I will take you along for wherever we go for breakfast this morning. 
We absolutely love the pastries that we got yesterday. So we literally came back to the same place. It's just around the corner from our hotel. These were honestly the best pan chocolates I've ever had. And we just had a really slow morning just enjoying the day, enjoying the weather, enjoying our pastries. I went and got some flowers as well just because they were beautiful and we wanted them and the florals were so amazing. We love them, flowers make me so happy. We then ended up having lunch by the beach at Rue Plage, I think it's called, and the food was delicious. I got fish and chips and oh my goodness, it was such an amazing meal. <laughs> But then it was time to get ready for the wedding. Oh my goodness, you are not even ready to see this wedding. I'll just, I'll just give you a sec. All right, let's do this. This was the most incredible wedding I've ever been to. It started in this beautiful, beautiful church playing such beautiful music. I'll just let you enjoy the music for a sec. The ceremony was so beautiful. Afterwards, we took an amazing car tour around Saint Jean Cap Ferrat. I really apologize for my terrible pronunciation. And then we ended up at Villa de Rothschild, which, oh my word, this is the most just breathtaking building I've ever seen. It baffles me that this was someone's house. Like people used to live here. The view, just everything in this whole place was breathtaking. I was absolutely dumbfounded, speechless. When I was looking around, I kind of felt like I was in a dream. Like it was sort of freaky how perfect and beautiful everything was. It was so beautiful. The fountains, the gardens, just everything about this place was so magical. I'm still pinching myself that I was even there and places like this even exist in the world. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> this is beautiful. I, I'm, yeah. This is insane. I'm dumbfounded, honestly. Yep. I we just did the bouquet toss as well. How'd yeah. that go for you? That was, yeah, I mean, I touched the flowers. Wow, so almost look, I mean there. Something. Almost there. Are you done? Oh. Oh, four grand. Okay. Oh, yep. Yep. Can we see? Can we see? Some bubbles. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Like, look at this. This isn't real. Insane. filled up on appetizers, hors d'oeuvres, they had beautiful food there, beautiful drinks. We explored the villa, Nicola and I had to sneak out to go and take some photos, of course. How could we not at a location like this? I just can't believe how lucky I am to know some amazing people who allowed me to be part of such a beautiful day for them. The wedding was absolutely stunning. It was amazing to see everyone. They had family come in from all around the world and it was so it was just such a beautiful occasion, a beautiful wedding. Weddings always get to me, so it was just so stunning. The food was amazing. It was amazing. The music, the dancing, just how happy everyone was. I love weddings. I am just so, so grateful and so happy I was able to be part of this one. Like, what an amazing excuse to come to the south of France. Eating the whole night, dancing the night away, and I think we were out until maybe like 1 or 2 a.m. We were ready to go to sleep. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. We are walking around <laughs> old, nice. old Nice. Yes, old nice. I keep calling it Old Town Nice. Is oh, it no, not I Old Town Nice? I think it's just old or is it just Old Nice? I don't know why. It anyway, like we had a very late start. Yes. Because last night was just crazy. Yeah. But it was amazing. It was so good. Um, we just consumed burgers, which was delicious. And now we're in the mood to shop. So yeah. heading to Galleries Lafayette, which is just in front of us. And we're gonna see what we find. Mm, we will show you a hole. <laughs> mm, indeed. There's a dog. I'm gonna show you the dog. Doggy. Doggy. This was actually our last full day in Nice, which was so sad. We'd actually planned to just sit down and lie down by the beach because we'd had such a big night the night before, as you saw, but the weather was not really the best and so we took to the shops and made it into a shopping day which who doesn't love a good shopping spree we're at starbucks yeah don't judge us for being at starbucks we don't have starbucks in perth we can't get it so that's why but i'm trying the pink drink so excited what do you have matcha frappuccino with whipped cream it's delicious 
so good. We've been shopping all afternoon. We're not done yet, but we're so tired. So tired. So tired. We're gonna enjoy our Starbucks and then continue shopping. After a long day of shopping, we ended the night with pasta. Who doesn't love pasta? Before heading back to the hotel and packing up our bags to leave Nice the next morning. Packed up, ready to leave. I know, we're so sad. But we're off to Lyon. For grass, Lyon, and then Paris. So it's not all bad. No. We will see you in grass. Okay, we had to get Macca's. It's a perfect road trip food, okay? Look at this. This looks amazing. After an hour or so of driving, we ended up in grass, which, oh my god, it was so beautiful here. We stopped here and had some lunch and stretched our legs, just looked around. We also went to the perfume museum and it was just such a beautiful time. Honestly, my favorite thing from this trip was just stopping in little towns like this on road trips. Everywhere you stop in France is so beautiful. We also found this little shop that sold cheap truffle cheeses and meats and we sampled them and we just, we had to buy some. So we're in grass right now, we just went to this little shop. Store. Show them what we got. We got right. some oh, delicious filet mignon, mm. um, like like preserved meat. Yes. The goat's cheese with truffle, with truffle on it. Delicious. And we got it vacuum packed. So yeah, so you can take it, it home. Back to Australia. Yeah, that's amazing. I can't believe we found that. I really yeah. want to bring food back to Australia. Same. Yeah. So, so yes. our boyfriends will be very happy mm -hmm. with that. <laughs> yes, we're just walking through the beautiful streets. Very cute, yeah. Just on our way to Lyon. Mm -hmm. Now walk around, have a look at the stores. Yeah, I just wanted to show you the, the meat and the cheese. <laughs> Peace. After leaving grass, we found a small little town called Moistier Saint Marie, which was so incredibly beautiful. Really love this town. It was one of the most beautiful towns to explore, and I loved it a lot. We just found this in a store here. I don't even know if this is a store, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I love that. That's so funny. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Ice cream. Oh. <laughs> We ended up just being here for an hour or so, exploring the town, we got ice cream and just looked around. It was literally in a mountain, there were beautiful waterfalls, it was just such a peaceful and calming town to walk around in. And that kind of ends our time in the south of France. We ended up arriving at Lyon at around 10pm, went to sleep and the next morning drove to Paris. I loved my time in the south of France so much. It was one of those holidays where I didn't really plan to do anything, but then we packed in so many things and could not comprehend how beautiful everything was really want to go back there i am also so excited to show you the paris vlog stay tuned <laughs>